Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk about overclocking. I get that question regularly and uh, of course a lot of people think that overclocking gives an enormous boost in performance. Here's the straight dope about overclocking. You're doing it for nothing most of the time. And the reason is simple, is that the small difference in speed that you get gives barely noticeable results most of the time. The real overclocking goes on at a different level. So let's talk about overclocking. What is it? When we look at, and we're going to go here into the task manager, I'm going to look at my CPU. And my CPU has a certain speed, has a certain way of running, it has multiple cores. But overclocking is not only CPU, Overclocking can also go with the GPU or the graphics processor. So what is overclocking? Overclocking means that you're simply driving or running that CPU or that graphics processor at a faster speed than what it is rated for. And actually, a lot of people buy, a lot of gamers mostly, will buy um, motherboards that let you tweak the speed of the CPU and the speed of the graphics processor uh, to increase performance. So the more clocks, the, the more um, the clock speed is high, usually the faster the system goes. But there's a little caveat in here that people uh, in a lot of overclockers don't realize is that even if, for example, you can overclock your CPU from say 3 gigahertz to 3.5 gigahertz, that increase barely shows as 1 or 2 percent speed increase. Which means for 99 percent of everything you're going to do, it doesn't show. And not only does it not show, it runs your CPUs and your GPUs hotter, increasing the risk of failure. Now, where does overclocking really have a impact is for those very fancy systems that have really amazing cooling systems. So some CPUs, for example, at 3 gigahertz can sometimes be overclocked at 4 or 5 gigahertz by cooling them really, really well. Because the faster you run that CPU, the hotter it gets. Same for the graphics processor. And so that is not for a standard system. If you have a regular desktop, for example, and want to overclock it with the standard hardware, so you have the same fans that were already installed and all of that, you're pretty much wasting your time as you're not going to get enough clock speed to make a difference in performance. Where that difference is, like I said, is on those extreme guys that really will change the way that the PC is cooled and the way that, you know, all of it is run so that you maintain the lowest temperature possible and then you can really overclock the CPU and the graphics processor to amazing levels. But it does stress out these components more and so it might actually, they might have a shorter lifespan by doing this and you should not overclock a standard computer that doesn't have any special hardware for that. So that's the straight up about overclocking or making your computer run faster than its intended speed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.